I know it's it may look kind of funny. Oh, oh, oh. She actually almost hit the target completely. <laughs> and I I know it looks kind of funny wearing this hat at the beach, but it might have to do with a cold day in the beach. Yeah. Oh wait, did you have a cold day in? Yeah, what? Before what happened? Uh, okay, it will be a cold day in hell before this economy. Yeah. So, so just to better survive, I put on the hat for today. Yeah, well, because actually, <laughs> you see what Nana Spring Chick is wearing. You know, uh, unfortunately, we are we're news people, and news people are listed as part of the media elite. And this is all that we're going to be left with when we're following the tax It does require a small carbon footprint, though. Right. So you'll be happy about that. But when it comes to banking, I know it's a cold day. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to tell you we did figure something out this morning. Mr. Obama is going to keep his promise and not nationalizing banks. He's figured out a way to do it. I mean, he's going to sell the banks off the pieces of foreign countries. So is it worth is it better for us to have our banks owned by foreign countries or our ports controlled by foreign countries? Uh, this is, <laughs> the, uh, the ports actually were better off in because there they only smuggled the bombs that they could Here they control whether you can get loans or anything. So they control oh. all the business. But uh, basically uh, they, they struck a deal where the U.S. government will change up to $25 billion emergency bailout funds for 36% equity in a struggling bank, uh, increasing the, greatly increasing the risk of taxpayers unhappy with the broader bailout program. No, but the way it works is, though, they only did this so that they could keep the bank alive long enough to dismantle it. What? I mean, here's a look at City. City Group used to be a strong bank. Until the federal government had them do some takeovers. Right, it's like and please help these other companies. Remember, the uh, uh, Bank of America was one of the most strongest banks in the world until the government had a big I know. Yeah, so, but I can guarantee you this morning that after they made the announcement of the Citibank, uh, it's on the verge of becoming a, a penny stock now on the stock exchange. They said they, they wiped out the wealth of all of the, um, the, the stock holders. stockholders and the bondholders. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah. I mean, I suppose if you bought it a while ago, a few months ago, and you were shorting the stock, you probably wouldn't have it. Basically, they said existing Citibank shareholders will see their ownership shrink to 26%. Actually, they're lucky if they get 26%. Yeah, but that's 20, you know, that, that means they get their, their stock is totally worthless now. Well, they're lucky to get 26% of the You know what I mean? Yeah, they're basically the. Uh, uh, for the $20 billion the government will convert it into a new, new class of the first share that will be senior to other. Guess who has the senior shares? What That's country? Who, yeah. The United States is selling the senior shares off to, uh, I think, Norway. Norway. This is a good one. We paid Norway about $10 billion to, to buy senior shares. You know, Norway's a pretty wealthy country and because, because of the oil. Yeah, but we also paid... Singapore about the same amount of money to buy shares. Well, at least those countries are more neutral, right? Singapore is very Yeah, but it's not quite... I know. And they're it's all, not quite like giving money to Iraq. Remember, if the communist, if, the, if China wishes to take Singapore, it takes about 10 seconds. Oh, that's true. So, the Chinese government went out it. Yeah. These are the, the uh, preferred shares are the only ones the senior preferred shares are the only ones that can follow the Really? The yeah. other ones can't? No. Wait a minute. What happened? They, uh, they, because they're, 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 they're changing. They, they changed the way it's not. A little capitalist go on with this. They said that they did this so that the United States, so that the taxpayers wouldn't lose any money. But folks, we just paid $20 billion to have two foreign countries, you know, do business with them. No, they did that because people didn't want the banks to be nationalized. So instead of nationalizing we, we, them, we uh, make them. We put them in a hand of other countries. You know, Wouldn't it better to have them nationalized? Yeah. I mean, okay, they, 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 and also, the common, the uh, preferred stock will not absorb losses until after the common stock is all absorbed with losses first. Oh, now talk about, they get the best stock around, don't they? Yeah. It, it, uh, I love this. It said the, uh, which means the taxpayers would be uh, on, you know, 
on the hook if the banks keep writing down billions of dollars worth of rotten access that the government wants to do under the new cram down program. Well, there's a problem in that because the cram down program is going to affect all these banks that are having all those problems. Yeah, and instead of actually freeing up credit like they thought it would be, it's basically damaged the credit card into their business. And Citibank, Citicorp has one of the largest credit card holders in the world. Basically, they're going to reshape it board of directors. Basically, most of the, uh, the members will uh, become independent and basically the oil owners of the United States government will be stop. Yeah. But a lot of, you know, basically, though, it, it's just, you know, Teddy Corp is going to write down $9 billion more in bad debt. Oh. It's basically, it's got a further drive down. Mr. Obama did keep his promise. I mean, you have to listen to the man. He is an unbelievably smart person, and when he said he wouldn't nationalize the banks, he said we would not nationalize the banks. He's letting other companies, other countries nationalize. He's letting, the, he's letting other countries nationalize our banks. And basically, uh, people get the shit. It's wrong. Yeah. It's really wrong. Yeah. But, you know, I guess part of it is he is the president, and... But they do pay attention to what's going on on the internet. Yeah, they do pay attention to the survey. So yeah. make sure. Yeah, but no, but the problem comes is that he, he has intention of paying attention to the, on the internet to surveys. He, he, he said that their, their surveys are being stressed slanted so that what happens is the public is responsible for Instead of taking, you know, uh, Isn't he the one that's the talking about responsibility? There is a responsibility. They're just spend, 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 spend. I mean, like, we told people, I mean, we told people during, you know, before he was elected. I know, that his record showed and that he would, it's I very know. difficult for a left to change his spots. But he's already in the office. And I also heard people last night that think that they missed, totally misunderstood him. They thought he was going to be pragmatic. Well, if, if you misunderstood us, don't keep kicking yourself because it's not only you, there's a lot of very intelligent people. A lot of the press misunderstood. A lot of the press, a lot they, of company heads. A lot of people that supported him now understand that he is an ideological, ideological person, not a pragmatic person, and that he has, they said that they, uh, I think one of the top Democratic advisors under you know, past administration said simply, he thinks that Obama is prepared to have a one-term presidency in order to, to set change in motion that will last forever. Well, they also said he is prepared. They said the problem is, is what scared the guy last night. They said they think he's prepared to go out as the most disliked president, even below George Bush, in order to make these changes in society. Video responses, messages to the emails, uh, messages to the emails. Yeah. We're going to start covering them. Like, like, send us a video response if you want. Send us a comment on the videos. Or you can rant and rave by sending us an email at montybubbles at montybubbles.net. And that's Monty with an E. Of course, you probably know it if you've been watching the video. Yeah. And I'm going to put the mailbox back up, you know, so that people can... There'll be a mailbox right there on the, we on the oh, website. Oh, on the website. I took it down because it's getting lots of, lots of naughty. <laughs> so, but, uh, but until next time, this is Old Cam. And this is not a spring check. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, go to www.monkeybubble.net on the net. And thanks. Uh, <laughs> I, I just bit my tongue. I know. I mean, oh. I mean she's thinking about the fish sandwich that's going to be having over at McDonald's. I'm, I'm getting hungry. Thank you once again for over 20 million links on the internet. Actually, it's 24 million, pushing 25 as of today. Oh. We're growing. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to tell you something. We now have more links to us than Theo has to get. And Theo is one of the people that we work with. Oh. So, thank well. everybody. Thank you. <laughs>